Hey guys, Megan with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SVU Mark III. I have made three different versions of this, this one being the third one and this one being the one that I am the most happy about. So, um, flashback to ages ago, I made a Dragonoff that was based off of a uh, super old model. So let's just go ahead and do this. Let's just make it super easy on ourselves. And just go to uh, my website and we'll take a look at a little bit of history when it comes to these so that you guys can understand a little bit more about what I'm talking about exactly. So if we come down here and we go over to sniper rifles, we could take a look at the Dragonoff. So I built this Dragonoff ages ago and keen eye viewers might be able to tell that I built this Dragonoff using the AN94 receiver which is not exactly a Dragonov receiver at all. It, that's, that's not how this works. So that's the original Dragonov that I built. I took this and then used it to build the SBU Mark I and Mark II. Mark I and Mark II. I did that for pretty much both of them. And I kind of realized that's not how that works. Um, I basically was just using an upper, upscaled um, AK receiver for both of those um, different versions and it looked really dumb and not exactly how it should. So most recently this third version is actually based off of my brand new um, SVD uh, receiver and foreign and everything. So now that I have a proper looking SVD that's not based off of my original AKs and stuff like that, uh, and has a five stud rider receiver and a proper handguard and everything, this looks so much better. It looks exactly like it should instead of this weird, stupid looking uh, receiver. And because I have that, now I have the SVD, I can do a whole bunch of other stuff. So this is the SVU Mark III. Um, there is some slight differences between the SVUs. So the original SVU is just a semi-automatic version. The SVU-A, I want to say, is a semi-automatic burst fire version. And the SVU-AS is a semi-automatic and full auto version. So if you could ever imagine unloading a full auto SVD into someone in a bullpup configuration, yeah, it, it, it would probably be pretty brutal. So this is what it looks like inside of the photorealistic from studio. And this is what it looks like inside of LDD itself. So pretty basic stuff. Again, this is using the, <coughs> uh, excuse me, sorry about that. This is using my um, SVD receiver and everything. So this is a much beefier build than um, my originals. So yeah, fun times. Back here in the back, uh, quick disclaimer, if you want to see a whole bunch of the details, go check out my SVD video. I'm just going to go over some of the changes that I put into this one. So back here in the back, we have our butt plate, which is just pretty simple, not a whole bunch going on. I've got the front section smoothed out, nice and curved, but I've got the flat section back. Oh, I just got a text message. I'm so sorry, because that, that probably just destroyed y'all's uh, ears. So, sorry about that. But we have a flat section back here, pretty basic. Not a whole bunch of going on. There's a cheek rest up here that's been modified and added on, so I went ahead and added it. So that should be this nice, comfortable piece of polymer now, instead of, you know, just cold hard steel uh, that might get hot from heat translation. Might not. I don't think it actually gets hot. Ignore me. Standard magazine, uh, pretty basic stuff. Our pistol grip is the same exact as the SVD, except I've moved it forward now on this one. Uh, trigger guard and everything is slightly modified and it sticks out the bottom of the um, wooden, well, I guess this is polymer, but it sticks out uh, in this weird kind of ridge looking thing because there's this trigger bar that goes back here. Yeah, all this, you have bullpups and stuff, pretty, pretty weird stuff. 
this uses Futurity's trigger design, uh, which has the hinge in it so that you get a flatter overall trigger, but you still get the curve and bend into it. Pretty basic. Uh, I didn't really do much with uh, the handguard or anything like that, so that's all relatively basic. Uh, but I did add the weird, it's not a suppressor, but it is. I think what they actually call it is a noise moderator. It's not a suppressor at all, but it cuts down on flash, and I want to say that it cuts down on a little bit of sound, but I, it, to them, I guess it didn't cut down enough to be considered uh, a suppressor. It's just this weird can out there on the end. Also supposed to help with recoil mitigation stuff, but anyhow, uh, for iron sights, because there's no scope on this, I did add iron sights on this gun, so if we can... Uh, small one. So if we can flip this up, there we go. That's the rear sight. It's just a hole. And then on the front sight, uh, we can flip this up. And it's just a front post. So pretty simple iron sights on these guns. Uh, nothing too crazy going on. Other than that, that's uh, pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. This is the SVU Mark III. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to see this and a whole bunch of other models that I post early and a whole bunch of uh, other people who post really good models that are actually better than mine, don't be afraid to go check out my different usernames Discord server. That's where I've started to post a lot of my models, the work in progresses and things like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. See you guys later.